Washington Sports Leader. 630 Chad. The Alberta Medical Association and the Alberta government continue the uh, contract dance. It became very, very political and continues to be political, as you know, with the Premier uh, suggesting that uh, doctors are part of the spending problem in this province and doctors really feeling uh, attacked. Those negotiations for a new contract uh, are ongoing. They will continue through the budget period. The budget is the 7th of March. So we won't have any agreement until after that. But I think the tone of what's going to happen will be in the budget. As you know, the government's warning us it's going to be just but ugly. And so um, don't expect much as far as new money for health, period, let alone for doctors. So that that's going forward. Uh, the government today, by the way, announcing a big expansion of uh, Tom Baker Cancer Center at the University or at the Foothills Hospital in Calgary. So they're still spending money, but uh, the budget will be lean apparently. And so doctors in the crosshairs. Anybody working for the Alberta government is in the crosshairs. Anybody, by the way. And so you you look for and you you I I notice innovation in other healthcare delivery systems, and you think, hey. That's pretty cool. Maybe we could do something like that here. It seems cost-effective. What it is in British Columbia, the uh, the Clark government and the, and the BC Medical Association have come up with. Um, I th- it looks like a pilot project to me. Access to a family physician, which is always a problem. How many people have you heard about don't have a family doc? This program will allow doctors to talk to patients on the phone. Now, doctors have been shunning this phone call thing for a long, long time. No time. Haven't got time. Can't talk to people on the phone. Well, in British Columbia, they're trying to get access to docs over the phone. A GP for me is what the program is called. With me from the BC Medical Association, the co-chair, General Practice Services, Dr. Bill Cavers. Hello, doctor. Good morning to you, Tom. Is this going to is this a pilot project? No, the pilot projects uh, have run for the last two years All in right. three different communities across British Columbia. So this latest announcement has been the provincial launch and it'll be province wide as of April the first. Where were the pilots done? They were done in three communities in Cowichan on Vancouver Island, yeah. White Rock, South Surrey in the Lower Mainland, and in Prince George. Okay, the White Rock, South Surrey one, pretty a lot of people there. Um, and was it designed to give access to a doctor for people who don't have a family doc? Yes, the telephone um, initiative is part of a larger picture. In the province, the General Practice Services Committee has been meeting for 10 years. It's a collaborative arrangement between the BC Medical Association and the government. Mm-hmm. And we have been looking at ways of improving health care to patients and improving the health care system. And we recognize that there are about 600,000 British Columbians that do not have a family doctor, and some are not looking for it. So we, we estimate that somewhere between 175 and 180,000 people in British Columbia do not have a family doctor and want one. And as a result, they're not getting the same coordinated health care that people sure. with a family doctor do. So there's kind of a have and a have not population. Will the phone access apply only to those people then? No. It, what it will do, hopefully, is allow more efficient care for a family doctor to give to his or her patients. By having more efficient care, we're hoping that it will uh, increase the capacity of primary care and open up spaces in the practice so that a family doctor can take on a few more patients. We do know that in other jurisdictions, such as the U.K. and Denmark and the United Mm -hmm. States, Mm -hmm. that access and use of telephone uh, contact has actually cut down the amount of time it takes to provide a certain amount of care and has certainly increased capacity, and we're hoping that British Columbia can duplicate that. Does it change the billing model away from the whites of your eyes scenario? Are you going to get paid for talking to somebody on the phone? Yes. We're going to get paid. It's going to be at a lower rate yeah. because uh, we expect that the telephone uh, consults will be done for follow-up appointments or for triage. 
Now, in triage, for instance, a woman with a new baby. Uh, I don't know about you, but when our kids were born, I never got an instruction manual. And Especially so with the have... first one. Especially <laughs> yeah. the first one, Doc. <laughs> the first one. Yeah, so you're going to have some concerns. And yep. I may get a phone call from a, a young mother who's saying, my child has a very high temperature, what do I do? Or my child has been vomiting, what do I do? So instead of making that mother drive across town to come into my office and, mm -hmm. and do it, I can mm -hmm. give them some basic advice and flag some warning signs for where they should come in to be examined. And for instance, for you, let's say your cholesterols were found to be elevated. Mm -hmm. You go, and after a visit, you're sent to the lab for, for tests. In British Columbia now, if you were my patient, I could phone you and say, Dave, this is what your tests are, and I'd suggest this and this and a follow-up in three months. And you don't have to leave your place of work, drive across town, and spend two to two, two and a half hours coming to see me. And so that's new? I mean, right now you, you cannot phone the patient? Well, I can phone the patient, but I'm not compensated for it, and right. that's been the big barrier. The, the government in British Columbia has largely, but not completely, been committed to the, as you call it, the white of the eyes. Now, we have had some limited introduction of telephone visits to small target populations of higher risk patients, but this is a much broader initiative. It's going to be for any patient that I take on in my practice for whatever reason that I think is appropriate, but the intent is to try to use the telephone visits to offset uh, what would otherwise be a, a visit to the office or a walk-in clinic or the emergency. So as you said, it's designed to open up a little capacity in, the, in these doctor's offices in their list of clients, right? Or Absolutely, and by doing that, we hope to be able to absorb more patients into our practices and reduce the number of people who are looking for a family doctor. Dr. Caber, stand by. I need to take a commercial break. I'm going to come right back. Dr. Bill Caber, co-chair, General Practice Services Committee, BCMA, talking about this. This is innovative. This is a new, new way to give access. I don't know if BC has something similar that Alberta does when you can call a nurse and get a lot of good advice over the phone. This is a little bit different. This is right to the doc. Back after this. <laughs> Shop with confidence at Save On Foods. We're priced right. Assorted Kellogg's, Vector, or Mini Wheat cereals. More rewards price, two for eight dollars. Or fresh number one grade strawberries. Two pound pack, more rewards price, just three ninety nine. Plus, for exclusive offers on products you want, sign up at SaveOnFoods.com. Save On Foods, Alberta proud. At ATP Financial, we know growing your investments begins with smart advice. I'm Dr. Trudy Chalmers, a neuroscientist with ATB Investor Services, helping our financial advisors become the best in the industry at understanding clients and their investment goals. We take a more educated approach by applying the same science and training our advisors that pro athletes follow. We believe commitment and hard work will help our advisors give better advice. Want some science behind your investment advice? Send me a note at atp.com slash Trudy. John B. had a problem. I'm in the doghouse, man! He compared an old photo of his wife to a more recent one. Now he's learned that some things shouldn't be compared. Tell me about it! Well, other things should. Like any 2013 model drink, he has dare to compare sales event. We dare you to compare the Optima, Road and Travel Magazine's International Car of the Year, to any in its class. Plus, get 0% financing and don't pay for 90 days on any 2013 Kia. I'll be on this couch for 90 days. He has dare to compare sales event ends April 1st. Visit Kia.ca for details. Is your business underperforming? Does it lack efficiency? Are profits sagging? Action Business Solutions can help your company get back on track by streamlining existing systems or implementing new ones. Join Terry Argue of Action Business Solutions and discover how her step-by-step -step process allows you to expand your company and achieve the results you deserve. Call Action. Mention Ched. Receive a free one hour of consultation at 461-9494. And tune in to Talk to the Experts Saturday at noon on 630 Ched. W Network's Love It or List It is coming to Vancouver. Ta-da! We're here! Interior designer Jillian Harris. Good things come in small packages. And West Coast realtor Todd Talbot. I want views, finishes, anything that you can find. Are going head-to-head. -head. Master bedroom. Master bed. No room for homeowners' hearts. I know. When they see this space, they're going to love it. You better hope you have a huge budget. Are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? Love It or List It Vancouver. Mondays at 10 p.m. Eastern Pacific. Only on W Network. 
Join the thousands who have made the choice to end their neck and back pain. Spinal Care Canada Solutions' non-invasive, non-surgical procedure has helped thousands find long-term relief from neck and back pain, herniated or bulging discs, sciatica, and osteoarthritis. Many patients report relief almost immediately. Find out if you're a candidate. Book your free consultation now. Call 780-800-4719. That's 780-800-4719. Or visit SpinalCareCanada.ca. It was our biggest ever, and it's back this weekend. The Brick's famous Boxing Day blowout. The entire store is marked down, up to 50% off. Plus, there's incredible Boxing Day prices. Sofas starting at just $2.99. Leather look sofas only $3.99. $3.99 fabric sofas. And a huge selection of sectionals starting at only $5.99. And you don't pay for 15 months with no interest on everything in the store. Some conditions apply. Get complete details in store. The Brick's famous Boxing Day blowout is back. The biggest guests, the best information. If you're an Oilers fan, this is your show. Oilers Now with Bob Stoffer. Which is it new on Oilers Radio? Since the beach shed. Yes, Dr. Bill Cavers, co-chair of General Practice Services Committee, BC Medical Association, putting in practice this this attempt to get uh, at least a family doctor contact for maybe up to 180,000 British Columbians looking for a family physician. This uh, idea of doing telephone consultation would open up capacity within a doctor's practice. And, Dr. Cabers, is that because a phone call would be quicker than an office visit? For some things, yes. I mean, it goes down to the old saying that just because you have a computer doesn't mean to say you're going to be doing work any faster. It depends on how you use the phone. So we do intend the phone to be trying to offset the need for other more costly visits to the emergency department. And often they'll be for, for follow-up things that are a bit more straightforward. Now, speaking to the Alberta problem, however, which is the negotiations going on with doctors, mm-hmm. in British Columbia we found through our own studies and evaluation of the programs that if a patient, if a person gets a greater proportion of their care through the same physician or group, so the care is more coordinated, they cost the system significantly less. Mm -hmm. So for our higher needs patients like those with diabetes or heart disease or lung disease, we found actually that the per capita cost is less than 50% per year for all services if that patient actually has a family physician or a group to coordinate their care. So it's important to, to, to look at the overall responsibility of the medical system and the profession. In the general practice service today, we look at a, a paradigm called triple aim. We look at the population health outcomes. Mm-hmm. We look at the satisfaction of care by the patient and the providers. And we look at the per capita cost. So right now we know across the world the medical costs are going up, but in British Columbia, medical costs of now about 43% of the provincial budget, right. which is a bit staggering. Yep. And if you, if you keep on doing what you always did, you're always going to get what you always got. And so we have to do things differently. And having a quick telephone call, which is a bit cheaper for the follow-up, will not only reduce per capita costs but increase capacity. And by increasing capacity, those patients who are having medical problems looking for a family doctor, seeking their care in a disjointed manner through walking clinics, emergency departments, sure. or whoever can get it, that's an expensive way of doing business. And so it's a much better uh, way of coordinating the care through a family doctor, and it's much more satisfying for both the patient, for the person, and for the doctor. Now, this is going to, I assume, take some time to see the sort of flow through here and whether or not capacity is increased or not, right? I mean, how, what's, the, what's the measurement of success going to be? Well, every one of our initiatives is evaluated, and, we ha- and the uh, GP Services Committee has already agreed on some different parameters as to do the phone calls offset uh, a visit, and what happens to the patients who receive the phone calls? Or do they have better outcomes? Do they cost the system more or less? We have all these evaluation tools put in place. Is it going to be evident? Is it going to change the world tomorrow? No. We're going to start doing this on April the 1st. It's a culture shift for doctors to be yeah. able to, to do this. And so we're going to be providing some other supports for the physicians to learn how to do business differently, and we're going to be watching it over the next two years. So, yeah, you'll give it two years before you sort of pass judgment then. 
Yes, and we're going to be looking. I don't think we're going to have the world fixed in two years either, but we're going to be looking at trends and seeing if we're going in the right direction. You say culture shift for doctors. The culture then being that people come to them and they sit down in the office, sit in the waiting room for an hour, then get in to sit on the, uh, sit on the butcher paper for a couple of minutes. That's the culture? That you, that's shifting? Yes. Well, let's, let's compare two different doctors. One doctor doesn't shift and one does. So one doctor sees all the patients all day and then stays on after dark doing the phone calls, and that person will feel overwhelmed because they've had more work added on to their already full plate. The other person who does shift, I will leave spaces in my day open and book them with telephone follow-up so I can get the work done, and I'll be doing the care for the patients in a more efficient manner. Ergo, I can go home still and have dinner with my family, and um, I will be satisfied at uh, providing the care for the patients in an appropriate manner. And the patients are going to be a lot happier, too, because, again, they're going to be less inconvenienced. But you're not going to restrict the attendance of patients at, in your office, either? You can't do that, oh, right? Preventing them from going to see anybody else? Well, no, just, Absolutely just not, no. by saying, I'm going to take fewer people in your I, I'm going to have fewer appointments. I'm going to see people because I need an hour, an hour and a half every day to do phone calls. You know, it, it's a balance, I assume. Well, look at it this way. If I'm spending the time on the phone... I actually am providing the care that would have otherwise required a visit. Using the example of a a young mom with a baby, that woman would have had to pack up everything, drive into the office and be be examined. That always is not always necessary. So I can talk to the mother very quickly, give her some pointers, and then say, if there's a problem and it comes up, then come in. And I'm providing more appropriate care. I'm filtering out some of the uh, interactions and giving advice at a cheaper rate than the person, this mom showing up at the emergency department. Right. Um, the phone calls will be short, I assume. I mean, these are not going to be complicated conversations, right? I mean, it, as you say, follow-ups, sort of routine things. Like you say, the baby's got a rash, what do I do? Those kinds of calls. It, it, you're not going to be diagnosing over the phone, obviously. Well, no, not always. There can be some uh, occasions where I will say, you need to pack up right now and go to the emergency department without any further ado. Right. But many times with telephone calls, you can get a sense of what's going on, um, and you can make a reasonable determination whether or not an examination is necessary or not. For instance, a person with a sore throat. Are you running a temperature? No. How long has it been there? Two hours. You don't really need to come in. Right. No, I want antibiotics. I don't care what it is. I want antibiotics. Uh, hang on a sec, Dr. Gabers. We're going to come back right after this. Fill the net and help find a cure. This season, when the Oilers score, 630 Chad and Booster Juice make sure that everyone wins. That's right. For each Edmonton Oilers goal, Booster Juice is donating $25 to the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. 630 Chad and Booster Juice. Together, we're making progress toward prevention and a cure for juvenile diabetes. To see how much money has been raised, go to the Oilers page at 630Chad.com. When is the only time you should take your laptop into the bathroom? When you're shopping online at Northland Construction Supplies. This is Dave Rutherford letting you know the best way to shop for tiles online is by visiting Northland Construction at everythingceramic.ca. Take your laptop into the room you're renovating and check out samples of everything Northland carries online. Then come down to the store and see it in person. Northland Construction Supplies. Calgary, Red Deer, Edmonton, Fort McMurray and online at everythingceramic.ca. I'm exhausted. Me too. Mom, I have a book report due tomorrow, and I haven't even started it yet. Dad, Johnny asked me to the dance, and he's really cute. But then Danny asked me to, and he has his own band. What should I do? <sighs> what would they do without us? Whether you're looking for affordability, lifelong protection, or a combination of both, State Farm has a wide range of life insurance options to suit any need or budget. Dude, is your daughter here? Nope. Call your State Farm agent today and get more out of your life by getting more out of your life insurance. Or visit statefarm.ca for the agent nearest you and get to a better state. To navigate volatile global markets, you have to stay connected to the world. We're part of ATB Financial Markets, a dedicated team of experts that helps ATB business clients mitigate risk and capitalize on opportunities. We specialize in providing advice on foreign exchange, interest rates, and commodities to help ATB clients better manage their business. No matter how turbulent times may get here in Alberta or beyond, we'll keep you connected to the global market. Send us a note at atb.com slash financial markets. 
Questions. Everybody's got them. Like yesterday, someone asked, What am I supposed to get my wife for our anniversary? So I said she's going to want something big, shiny, and awesome. Get her an F-150. It's always the answer. Now get up to 8500 in rebates, plus a 1000 bucks for Ford custom accessories on F-150 with best-in-class power, payload, and towing. And recycle your ride for up to three grand toward your purchase on most new trucks. The built Ford Tough Event, only at your Ford store. See paper for details. Eternal, authentic, Simply Amish is Edmonton's only supplier of the finest Amish furnishings. Each piece is beautifully handcrafted and signed by the Amish carpenter who built it. All furniture is made to order out of solid hardwood. It's of heirloom quality and backed by a lifetime guarantee. There's no particle board or press board. It's built to last. Choose from a variety of Amish made dining sets, bedroom suites, or office furniture. Simply Amish, many styles, one standard since 1979. 2840 Calgary Trail, online, simplyamishedmonton.com. We really got the runaround when we applied for a permit to put up a garage. We had no idea how the whole process worked. When we called Permit Masters, they were able to get our garage permit approved right away. Building a deck garage or renovating your house? Save yourself time and headaches. Call Permit Masters, Edmonton's number one permitting solution. From residential to commercial permits, Permit Masters can get your project approved even if the construction is already completed. Simple, cost-effective, and time-saving. PermitMasters.ca The Adler Nation. Population. You. I wasn't born under a rock. I wasn't born at night. I wasn't born last night. I understand. I got that. That's so dirt simple. Charles Adler. Today at 2 on 630 Chad. Uh, my guest, uh, Dr. Bill Cabers, BC Medical Association. So, Dr. Cabers, are there any other access points in British Columbia for people to phone for advice? I mentioned earlier we have something called HealthLink, which is nurses answering the phone. Does BC have something similar? Yes, it does. We have HealthLink as well. It's the 811 number, and right. patients can phone and talk to a nurse that's on duty and get triaged and advised, uh, given advice on what to do. So is this talking to your family doc, is it, is it deemed to be one level up from that? Why would well, it be different? It will, it'll be a bit different. In the health link, um, again, you're dealing with somebody who doesn't know you, your background, uh, doesn't necessarily know the medications, and can get a sense of who you are as a person. If you can talk to your family doctor who has known you for sometimes decades, sometimes a new person but has at least the information on medications, allergies, past history, etc., you get a little bit more coordinated care. And all of the studies mm -hmm. here in the province and internationally say if the care is more coordinated yep. and the information is there, you get better quality care at a cheaper price. And this is, they're get, docs are getting paid 15 bucks a call. That's right. Um, and up to 500 a year to try to put some kind of cap on it. So yeah. uh, an interesting way to get access for those who don't have a family doctor. But as you said, this open up capacity. So the person is still going to have to be accepted as a patient by that doctor. Correct. Right? Yeah. So that, still ha that mechanical part still has to happen, and you're just hoping that uh, more family docs will have more spots pretty much. Okay. What I expect is that once we bring these initiatives in and the doctors get more comfortable with using them in an, in an efficient manner, they'll start to themselves realize on a gut level that, hey, I've got some extra time. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it's not going to be a burden to take on an extra one, two, three, four, five, six patients, right. ten patients, etc. Okay. And if you get a whole bunch of doctors around the province each taking on a handful of patients. Sure, before you know it. Yeah, yeah. makes a big difference. Dr. Cabers, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Good to talk for to you. Thank you. Okay. Dr. Bill Cabers, thanks. BC Medical Association. Interesting concept, isn't it? Back after this. There are good reasons why you see the...